Hello, everybody. I don't know a single person that does not want to improve their body composition in, say, one aspect or another. If you guys tune in today, stay with us. We're going to bring you a first of its kind, very unique solution to body composition improvement. Very different from the fad yo-yo style products of the past. So we're super excited to be here to talk about that with you today. Awesome. I am Lisa and this is Dr. Ryan. Welcome to our Monday training where we teach you all about our amazing products and how they can help you increase your health span. Um, before we get started on our topic today, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below, clicking the button below, and that way you don't miss any of our trainings, any new release products. Um, and you can also leave us comments. We love your feedback. We'd love to hear what you have learned from our training. Awesome. Okay, so our topic today, guys, this is our lean, our body composition improvement formula. Okay, so let's talk about body composition to start off because that's the goal of this product. Uh, body composition is really the balance of your lean muscle mass and your fat mass. Um, of course, there's other factors like bone and whatnot involved, but it's really the, the proper balance of your body composition is your fat mass and lean, lean muscle mass. And an optimal body composition somebody with an optimal body composition is someone that's healthier, someone that um, it's scientifically proven that, that it increases their health span. Why? Because you become free of disease, right? Or, you know, you eliminate your risk of disease. Certainly less likely to develop. Much less likely to, right. to, to develop disease. Right. Um, so the goal with it, you know, if you want to think about like losing weight, right? We all talk about, we want to lose weight. Weight is a number on the scale. And say you're losing weight on the scale, you can really be losing muscle mass. So you could be cheering yourself along, giving yourself high fives, but you could really be losing muscle. And that's not the goal, right? The goal is to maintain or increase that muscle mass, which is that lean body mass. And in turn, that works in our favor, guys. It naturally, I mean, you have a higher metabolism. Um, your body is uh, obviously a better body composition, but it's more metabolically um, active. active, more metabolic. Yeah. Certainly more resilient too. Right. Exactly. So we don't want to focus on weight loss. We don't ever want to talk about it as weight loss. It's a body composition improvement formula. Again, the goal is increasing that lean muscle mass, decreasing that fat mass, and sometimes because muscle weighs more than fat, sometimes the number on the scale goes up, but you have to understand what is going on in your body. And that's the goal. That should be the goal all, all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, look, most people though are overweight or obese. So we mm -hmm. are probably talking about a net loss of weight sure. and the rare occurrence there will be a gain for people that super go all in super committed. They start doing load bearing exercise. Some of the things we talked about three days a week, they're, they're doing cardio metabolic stuff. All of a sudden, boom, five pounds, you know, of fat gone, um, you know, they, it's great. Six pounds of muscle, who knows? I'm just saying that you might gain a pound or two, but you're building such a better, healthier, more body, uh, body composition. So right. that's what it's all about guys. Yes. So, Love that. Love so, it. yeah. So again, the goal is not weight loss. The goal is improvement in body composition. And that is what, um, Dr. Ryan has designed lean to do. Mm -hmm. And so many amazing ingredients in this product and, uh, Dr. Ryan's going to go yeah, through all of should, them. I think we should tear through them for sure. Yeah. Let's get into it. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, first, no, I was, first I'm going to list them all. Okay. okay. There's a lot. I'll just read them all. Yeah, and then one by one, Dr. Ryan will go through them. That might them explain why it's six capsules or 180 capsules in a bottle, guys. Right. <laughs> big bottle. There's a little big bottle. Big bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there's B12. There's Thanks. chromium. There's glucomannan. There's berberine. There's green tea extract. Caroluma, CLA. L-carnitine, seven digestive enzymes, Chade Bougre, white kidney bean extract, and hops extract. So each one of these has been studied to help improve body composition. And let's go through them one by one because yeah. it's going to take some time. In a vegetable capsule with organic rice hull. Yes. All right. So no mag stearate, no silica. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Super awesome. Standardized extracts, all good stuff. Yeah, but like like she said, she, there's a lot of stuff in here, guys. So we had to move it into a capsule form like that. And uh, it would, it, it, that helps us. We're going to have to spread that out. And we'll talk a lot about that today. But let's talk about... Yeah, go yeah ahead. well, before, I it. before, I mean, you can click the link in our description oh. right below, and it'll take you straight to our website where you can purchase lean today. Yeah, awesome. Okay, cool. Let's go. Cool, let's do it. All right, glucomannan, we know is a indigestible, soluble 
fiber up to a hundred times it can absorb up to a hundred times its weight in water. Okay. Wow. Well, what, what do you Sounds take silly. away? What do you take away with that though? When, when you um, think about that, you need fluid, please stay hydrated, drink water. We need you drinking water. If you want to come and if you want to start this product, you must be consuming enough fluids. That is imperative imperative so and i mean what's a good rule of thumb so like minimum is half your body, half weight, your body weight and up. yeah yes, minimum so guys i'm 210 so 105 ounces a day is minimum right? right so that's a good goal and work you can work your way into it but again we'll talk about a little bit about titration and how to how to move through uh everything we're talking about too so uh one thing i really liked about glucoman and it's been around for like forever i mean i think it was asian cultures yeah asian cultures for millennia i mean it's like we're talking about thousands of years this, this product has been used it's a natural source product and um it ferments really nicely in the large intestine in the colon and produces some uh, short chain fatty, um, fatty acids and butyric. So butyric acid is one of them. We probably heard of butyrate, like it's very beneficial. Right. Um, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of great, great stuff going on with fiber since most of us, I, I don't know the exact number, but I'm telling you when I say most, you just do not get enough soluble fiber throughout the day. It's actually, it's a huge problem for society. Right. It's one of the main, many contributing factors to, are uh, overweight and obese epidemic. Right. And that's, uh, so that's the number, the number one role of it is really to feel full. Right. right. So look, when it absorbs water, it's going to do a number of things. And we're going to get into this a little bit, but it will slow down gastric motility. So things will pass a little slower. It will give off a sense of satiety. It does have, it does play a, a reverse feedback role too, and triggers kind of, kind of the brain to think, well, right, well, I'm not as full. Right. It, and so a lot of these things will, will help you with cravings right okay. and, and binge like going hard on binge and eating so much and too much right we've okay. always heard the advice like try to stop eating when you're 80 percent full right but that's kind of hard when you're real hungry and you get in there and you eat real fast because it does take about 15 minutes for food to get through the stomach to the intestine to signal that hey you've been eating you should be good by now so there's a lot okay. of like timing components to this that's another reason why we'll say hey let's do this before meals We've also heard like the advice where you can take mixed nuts like almonds or or cashews or right, something like 30 minutes or an hour before eating. or before eating to help that a little bit. So you're not and don't go to the grocery store starving, right? They say you spend more money and buy more junk food. Right. So True. awesome. All right, next okay. up. Next you have our berberine. Oh, nature's Ozempic, guys. So I you look, whether you know about Ozempic or not, it's pretty popular because it's have it's so it's so impactful on the weight loss segment. But they refer to berberine as nature's Ozempic, not because it's the exact same mechanism of action, it's actually slightly different, but just because it does improve with insulin resistance. Like Ozempic was originally developed as a diabetes, anti-diabetes drug. It's been due to its effect on you know insulin resi insulin release and uh, lowering of blood sugar. Berberine sort of has that same thing going on, right? It does improve, and then there's some studies that have shown that it clinically improves uh, fasting, blood sugar, A1C, which is your three month average of blood sugar, as well as postprandial, which is your after meal uh, blood sugar as well. So. Uh, why is that in there? Because insulin resistance is a huge part of weight gain uh, and difficulty with weight loss. Because once you have that insulin resistance and that or that diabetes type two specifically, um, you're really at a you really are at odds. It's a di more difficult to lose weight according to the traditional methods. Right. And so, without having, if your blood sugar is out of control, right, you have your high highs of it and your low lows. So you're eating something and it's spiking and then it's dropping. Um, so you feel, I mean, it's a short window where you feel satisfied yeah. you feel full, and then it drops again. You want to think of like, we want these rolling hills. So anytime you do eat naturally, your blood sugar is going to change. Um, and depending on what you eat will depend on the level of changing it. But berberine really helps with that. So it helps to us to have those little rolling hills. So we don't have these, I call them peaks and valleys, right? We don't want peaks. Ooh, we don't want peaks and valleys in our blood sugar. So berberine is a great tool for that. And well, wait, what about the benefits of cholesterol? Can you talk about that? Yeah, and it, it can improve lipid parameters. And there's also some studies that have signified that there's some improvements in blood pressure. And I think a lot of it probably has to do with improve, right? Starting with the improvement of insulin resistance, yeah. where the rest of the metabolic cascade starts to improve as well. Right. right. If you lose, if you start to lose weight, if things start to improve metabolically, then a lot of those other things that are start to improve as well. Right. Right. So cholesterol and, and blood pressure and Oh, Certainly. Metabolic yeah. syndrome. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. What's okay. next? Okay, green tea extract. We all know what the green tea extract's all about, but it, this one's so, so, so key because it's standardized to the EGCG, so the, mm -hmm. the catechins. Most people ask when they see it, they ask for it. So it's 50% standardized, which is, is awesome. High in poly 
bisphenol, so flavonoids, which are antioxidants. Uh, again, really can help with the inflammation. It can also help from a from a weight loss sort of uh, metabolic perspective as well. Awesome. So. Another great ingredient. Um, this is one that many people probably haven't heard of, Caraluma. Oh, awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, actually works on a hormonal pathway, but native to India, been used for, again, seriously, a long, long, long time. Um, can increase the release of ghrelin and neuropeptide Y. There's really two pathways that signals. Ghrelin's a hunger hormone. They call it hunger hormone. Um, so I always does... think of like a ghrelin, like a gremlin. You know, gremlins are... are oh, yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes me all think of it, but we don't want to have that hunger hormone. No, or like your stomach's growling, yeah. growling, growling. Yeah, there you go, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, no, it, there's, a, there's a bunch of constituents in in in, in there. And, uh, you, you know, there's there are active ingredients, there are flavonoids, there are bioactives. I mean, there's a lot of things in there. Again, just kind of use, you, like when you look at the studies and the things that have been published on it, there's a lot of thing, areas that it's been researched in and, and shown some benefit for. But again, a natural ingredient and it has draft status. So generally recognize it's safe, which is something that we always like to look for when sourcing. There's a number of these ingredients that are draft status. So, awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, and then there's CLA that's conjugated linoleic. Industry, right? I want to make sure that we're. I think you guys see that thing. Sure. Not that this one. <laughs> oh man, what's up with these mics? Um, can you guys hear me? Can you look? See? Anybody can hear me? Well, it looks like it's reading. It just keeps flipping back and forth. Oh. Next one. Fine. Good job. All good. Okay. Awesome. All Carry right, on. let's move on. So yeah. Okay, so we did CLA. L-carnitine, we're all pretty much familiar with. Enzyme blend. I mean, you're talking about how many enzymes? Did we say seven? Um, seven. Seven, seven digestive different, enzymes. Different enzymes. Awesome ones too. Bromelain, papain. The most of the, you'll see like the profile of enzymes is solid. And we do list every single enzyme and the amounts, the standardized amounts too. So that's super helpful for everybody as well. So all right, what's next? Sade Bergray. Oh my gosh. Bergray. If somebody can help us with the, the way that we pronounce that, um, that would be helpful. I mean, because uh, Sade Bergray is the way Sade I'm Bergray. going. That, that's what I'm going with. Again, lots of active constituents. Another very a natural ingredient sourced from Brazil. Um, used for a very, 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 very long time. Um, just a very impactful product. I mean, it's got a lot of similarity to coffee bean. In the sense that it looks like it, it, they roast it in similar methods. They use it in the same way. Um, so it's been used again for weight loss for for a long time. A for really body composition acting on the metabolism, helping metabolism. To increase metabolism. Yeah, metabolic fun. rate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can help move. Forward. And again, guys, uh, let's just really circle back to metabolism. A higher metabolism means just while you're sleeping, you're burning more fat. While you're burning more, using more calories, you know, the, your body, you want a higher metabolism. So your body is working for you all the time. Yeah, it explains that simple rule body motion stays in motion kind of thing, right? As you increase your metabolic rate, you have more energy to do more work. And so you can kind of keep that cycle going. So, right. yeah, awesome. Okay. White kidney bean extract. Great for weight loss. Again, it's just another one of those key signature ingredients that we were able to get out, to, get, to, to pull together and get a standardized extract and make it, make it as part of this product. Because a lot of a lot of people are missing just missing out on the fact that white kidney bean extract actually has a lot of benefits for for weight loss and metabolism. Right. So awesome. All right. Very what's cool. next? And a big one, hops extract. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's dig into this. Let's dig into the hops extract because I feel as though this is our secret weapon. This is the big one. This is the one where, by the way, it's grass status. So uh, it's New Zealand hops bitter hops extract. There is a the, again, the drug market craze that's going on is all these GLP-1s. Well, this bitter hops extract actually works on that GLP-1 receptor. It is a natural agonist of the GLP-1. Nice. Yeah. And it, look, it's real important. It, uh, does, it, it triggers other things. Um, but I don't know if anybody's ever heard of the concept of but when you consume it, it can, there's, a, there's a cascade of events that follows a thing called bitter block. I think it's called bitter block. 
-hmm. Yeah, is it bitter block? Yeah, bitter break. Oh, bitter break. There you go. <laughs> and so what it does, it does is it it, it triggers within the, the within the, the GI system uh, release of these hormones. And GLP one, glucagon like peptide one increases insulin secretion so it can lower blood sugar and it increases the glucagon. So by doing so, you're driving down blood sugar, blood sugar, and you're also stimulating the GLP one receptors in the brain to say, hey, I have a feeling of satiety. I'm okay. full. Here's the here's what we're going to get into the side effects and the recommendations about this because GLP ones will indeed slow down the gastric transit time. That is this that is the amount of time that food is in our stomach moving through our GI system. So when it slows it down, it tells the brain again, it tells everything that we're full. We don't need to eat. There are some some good and bad things that happen along with that though. So we need to be cautious. Okay. We do need to be cautious. So the GLP ones are highly effective, highly highly effective. Um, they're, they're, they're acting on multiple kind of uh, multifaceted approach, um, covering multi, multiple enzymes and, uh, or sorry, multiple hormones. And there's just a lot of benefit to, to using them in a weight loss journey for sure. Okay, awesome. So those are all the ingredients in our lean body composition improvement formula. Um, so a lot of what you have discussed, you know, we, we get the feeling of fullness. Um, we have a decreased appetite. So one of the most important things that you need to focus on during this to prevent losing muscle, to prevent watching those numbers go down on the scale, but taking that muscle too, um, is you need to make sure you're eating adequate protein. Absolutely. Um, so say you are counting, um, I don't even want to say counting calories, okay? But you want to count your grams of protein a day. You want to make sure, if anything, that you are reaching that goal. So I always recommend that that goal is one pound, um, I mean, sorry, one ounce of protein. One gram. One gram one of gram protein, thank you. Got it. One gram of protein per pound of desired body weight or ideal body weight, okay? Not if you're weighing 200 pounds, but you wanna lose 60, you're not gonna eat 200 grams, right? You're gonna eat 140, you're gonna aim for 140. So if you can count your, your grams of protein every single day, you can check that off the list knowing that you are preserving that muscle mass. Um, while your appetite is suppressed and maybe that those excess calories that you're not consuming come from be junk, right? You're not having the sugar, the crackers, the chips, um, the, the, what, whatever it is. But you want to make sure you're focusing on that protein and then getting in those lovely organic fruits and vegetables, right? That is the goal. So it's not, this is not an excuse to eat like a, a very poor diet. Um, this is to help us along improve our body composition while we're also doing things with our lifestyle, improving our lifestyle. Goes along with that too, you know, exercise. Always going to big proponent of that. So no two calories are alike, right? Except mm -hmm. that it is it is a unit of measure. So one calorie is one calorie. But right. when, but when you're talking about different food sources for calories, and you just you just touched on it a little bit, you you have to be eating, and especially now because what's happening is potentially we're going into a calorie deficit. Potentially, again, on an individual level, we don't know exactly what you're eating or how much you're sleeping or what how much exercise you're doing, Correct. any of those things, or even when you're eating, what types of foods you're eating. So there's too many variables for us to say exactly what's going to happen for you. But if you're in a calorie deficit and you don't have the same hunger hunger notification or hunger demand kind of mm -hmm. tr triggers, you have to know that when you're eating, the quality of the of the calorie matters so, 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 so much, hard. so important. And the protein, of course, matters because if we stay in calorie deficit, and we're seeing it a lot with these weight loss meds, you're losing your fat mass, but you're losing your lean skeletal muscle mass, but you're losing your connective tissue, you're losing your bone density. There's a lot of problems that will come, that will arise if we're not focused on the quality of the nutrients that we're putting in our body when we do eat. So this product is designed to help us improve body composition. It can only do that if you commit to putting in healthier foods. And there's another other lifestyle elements that we want to add to that as well. But that, guys, is so critical. Right. And we have many other supplements um, that will help along the way. So first, um, you want to make sure you're getting all the nutrients that your body needs. So to cover those bases, you know, we have our multivitamin, our magnesium, and our vitamin D3. For sure. That is our daily essentials pack. And remember, if you're not needing, eating as much food, you're potentially changing the gut environment slightly. So yeah. you might not be absorbing the nutrients as much as well. Yep. Think about it, guys. The food is just, it's not sitting in the same way as an, as a totally natural state. It's not. So we right. need to make sure that we're enhancing it, like Lisa said. Yes. So getting your daily essentials pack. Um, and then we also have our two kinds of protein powders, right? We have our 
our vegan protein powder and our whey isolate protein powder. Both of those 20 grams of protein per serving that can really help you. Again, what I talked about that protein goal that can help you um, reach that protein goal much easier For sure. um, without also that feeling of fullness because each one has 100 to 106 calories per serving. So that's very easy to do. Yeah. Um, very big is our essential aminos mm -hmm. um, really help to preserve lean muscle mass. It's a muscle protein synthesis. So it triggers the body to muscle make muscle proteins. Right. So even if you're like in a fasted state, being able to take essential Correct. aminos can help preserve that muscle yes. mass. So very important to take those. I mean, I, su I suggest one to two times a day, um, but you've got to make sure you're taking those every day. And we have other things too, our collagen peptides. I, absolutely. Again, it's a unique protein structure. Great. Yep. Absolutely. And our creatine. Creatine for sure. MB. Body composition. So it improves the water uh, composition of the muscle cell. And mm -hmm. remember what we said, stay hydrated. Definitely add creatine though. Yes. That for sure. Yeah. So again, that's just making sure you're covering all your bases, right? You're, you're taking your lean, your body composition improvement formula, but then you're covering your bases, making sure you're getting the nutrients that you need, making sure you're getting the protein that you need to help preserve that, that lean muscle mass. Um, and yeah. Awesome. I think, that, yes. It's totally. exciting. Yeah, it is <laughs> exciting. All right, cool. Let's throw down a couple of things because before we go. I just want to list off a few. So guys, we know that we said, we okay, A, we're committing to a healthier lifestyle. That's number one. We're going to stay hydrated because the water is so important, especially when we're talking about consuming more fiber and especially like this fiber, this glucomannan will absorb 100 times its weight in water. So important. If you're adding creatine, again, we need the water for osmosis into the cell. So really important stuff. Maxing out our protein intake or using aminos to increase muscle protein synthesis is clutch. Stop snacking if possible, which maybe, again, it's just like the GLP-1s, this can help because it can cut those cravings and the snacking. And that's a big thing. That's a huge thing as well, right? Like, yeah, the mindless eating. Mindless cut eating. out the mindless yeah, eating. Totally. Eat with intention. Eat with purpose. Totally. Use caffeine to your advantage. Um, I always say use it early, no later than 10 or 11 a.m., but you find that in our coffee or you mm -hmm. find that in our E3, which is a great thermogenic and can increase your metabolic rate you know, transiently, temp you know, just right. temporarily, right? Of course, optimizing your sleep. We always talk about it, in, in, including the natural environment into your day every day, going out for a walk after meals if possible, and establish a routine. We love routine, so yes. create this routine with your supplements. All right, side effects, things we need to talk about, things that we need to watch out for. Okay, no pregnancy, no children. Um, we are potentially slowing down the gut transit time, the gut motility, so we need to watch out for malabsorption type issues. That's why we just said, let's get our nutrients in, nutrient-dense foods, uh, eat things that are uh, healthy and good for you. Um, Please, that, that would be hugely impactful. Trust me. Um, we are altering the, the, the stomach environment again. So same holds true for certain medications. There are some things that have to, obviously meds that are taken orally absorb very similar to food, guys. So now we need to watch out and make sure that if we're taking anticoagulants or we're affecting our absorption of those in any way, blood pressure meds, things of that nature. So make note, um, if you are going to start this, of course, you're, you should always consult with your medical provider if you're concerned about anything. But you also can monitor, 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 monitor your blood sugar, Mon monitor your blood pressure. You should always have a home blood pressure monitor. Um, let your provider know that you're using this and see how it goes. I I recommend a titration schedule. I don't. So here's the deal. It's 180 capsules taken two capsules, 30 minutes to one hour prior to each of your three meals. If you're not a three meal person, you can still take it on empty stomach. But again, we're just trying to get that water in water, water with it. Um, don't I don't suggest coming out of the gate, though, to per be right before a meal, unless you're somebody like me that you really could just go for it and try it. And I do, and I, but that's a side story. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, so and, and if your gut is more, if you know that you're more sensitive, there's, I mean, I am. So yeah. I, I, if you know that no matter what you take, you always have that possible side effect, right? Start slow. Yeah. as what I was saying. Just maybe what, what would you say? One? Well, I'd say one before each meal or one before two meals a day. So maybe you, maybe you start with two capsules a day and then you work your way up to four and then we get to six, you know, and we stay on this program. We monitor this program. We're watching, you know, mm -hmm. what are we looking for, right? You know, we're looking for improvement of body composition. So um, is this something that you can stay on? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can stay on. But guys, I mean, that's not the idea in life. We don't want necessarily to have to use a crutch everywhere we go. Sure. So Let's try to find a way to get to a point where we've reached our ideal body weight, yes. our body composition, and we're doing the things and feeling good and have the motility, the right. mobility and the different, the strength and the different things that we're looking for in life. Because and then you work, work on maintenance. Then you work on maintenance. And that's just your routine. That's your life. That's what awesome. you do. So, um, okay, real quick, uh, gastrointestinal distress, of course, can happen. Now we're talking about adding fiber. We're adding different, different ingredients, things that are slow in the stomach, so there may be bloating, there may be flatulence, there may be... Um, some cramping um, could cause some constipation or another one could be diarrhea. Um, 
So you really have to just, like I said, it starts low, titrate, slow, start low, go slow. Um, and let's see how it feels, right? I mean, work your way through it. You can always back off and then reintroduce. And so just be very cognizant of that. That's what, that's what I'd say. That. Right. And obviously when, when you would see results is very unique to the person, right? So example, those peaks and valleys I was talking about with blood sugar, if you're one of those that has those peaks and valleys, you're probably going to notice a change much sooner, right? Because it's really working out to stabilize your blood sugar. But if you already have pretty balanced blood sugar, it might take a little longer for you to see something or feel something different. So again, it's very, very individual. Um, can we talk about price? Yeah, go ahead. That's all you. So price, guys, which is amazing. Uh, for our members, it's $19.95, which is pretty crazy. Okay? 30 day supply of Arlene, $19.95. And if you're not a member and you want to purchase at retail, $27.95. Both prices unbelievably low, bringing you highest quality, lowest prices. That's what Live Goods about, For right? Sure. And uh, about our membership, if you want to be a, be a member, you just join upon purchasing. It's nine ninety five a month and gets you access to our member pricing. So right there, you're seeing the savings, right? This is seven dollars, or sorry, if you're not a member, it's eight dollars more. And then you're thinking nine ninety five a month, and you're going to buy a few things. Well worth your investment.